One thing I wanted to talk about today is dreams versus reality. You know, what is a dream? What is reality? And how do you make your dreams a reality? You know, as a kid, I always dreamed, dreamed of being in the NFL. I had it all planned out. You know, I was going to play for the San Francisco 49ers. You know, I was going to be the first pick in the draft. And, you know, that didn't too necessarily happen. But some of the things that shook me and made me think that, man, it's really hard to make it in the NFL. Well, seeing some of the talent around my city, Stockton, California, a lot of people that I thought were for sure going to go to the NFL or sure better than anyone else around the country didn't make it. So some of the things that happened around me and that I saw growing up, I'm like, man, I may want to rethink my dreams, you know? I, I may want to rethink what I'm going to do in life, but I never quit. I continued at it. You know, I, I've gotten better and better over the years, and I actually started to see this dream actually starting to become a reality. You know, uh, let's just say from high school, I really wasn't that highly recruited of an athlete uh, in my first couple of years, and you know, then I was blessed, and God gave me this ability to, you know, go to this Stanford camp, the Nike Stanford camp that you know is a big time showcase, and now I'm getting an uh, MVP there. And then I started to get offers from a few schools, and then I get to college. And, I have an alright first year, and I have a pretty good second year, but then my third year was my last year was when I blew up. And I'm like, man, this this is all happening. And I remember training, getting ready for the combine, uh, going through some of the uh, critics and what people were saying and where I'm going to go in the draft and where people thought I was going to go. I'm like, man, well, this first pick that I thought of being a kid uh, may not be happening. There's a lot of talent out there, but I'm for sure going in the first uh, round blessed enough that ended up happening, you know, getting drafted in the first round to the to New Orleans Saints, who that day. Uh, and, you know, so it's, it's been a great ride and a great journey so far. So, yeah, one thing I would say about turning a dream into reality, don't start with your dream and then always think of the future. You know, uh, you got to win the day. Don't think on day one that the results of day one should be of day 20. I understand that there is a process to get there and there are steps that you got to take and rough times that you will go through. You know, for instance, in my case, you know, I didn't get offered by some of the schools that I wanted to get offered by. Um, was that going to stop me? Or was that just an obstacle in my way that's trying to keep me down? Maybe I didn't get what I wanted right now, but it's all about the finished product. If you do run through some hurdles and some obstacles, do not stop. Do not quit. Don't ever give up on life. Don't ever give up on your dream. And like I said, just because someone tell you, that your dreams aren't big enough or your dreams will not be reached. Use that as your fuel to the fire and that motivation to keep pushing and to understand that you know what you got and you know who you are. And it's always about the little things. If you take care of the little things, more than likely your dreams can come true. And that's one of the things where I don't want to overstep my boundaries to some of my viewers. Sometimes you have to be honest with yourself also about when people are giving you too much credit and putting you on this pedestal that you know, quite frankly, okay, they're giving me a little too much credit. I got to bring myself back down to earth and not listen to everyone else. So in reality, you have to know what's going on in the inside and understand everything that's going on behind the big picture and be honest with yourself. Don't let someone give you too much credit. And if they do, don't take it to the head and get pumped up. Always remain humble. And that's what I learned throughout this time. Once again, thank you for checking this out. Uh, subscribing to these videos and following this you know leave comments and you know, like I said if you want me to talk about a certain topic let me know and, I, and I'll make that happen all right turn up